Hi there boys and girls, welcome back to Rim War Jungle Aristocracy, our gameplay with the new DLC Royalty. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy because so far we survived one episode, so our jungle at the moment is still very dangerous. We are shaping our colony, we have no defenses at all, but we still have hope because Ting Ting is now a little bit posh since a couple of days because she's now a Yeo man or a Yeo woman, I would say. Um, anyways, she is friends. She is friends in the Empire. She is now upper class, you know, while the other two guys have to greet her, giving her like a, with a formal form, um, no shaking hands, just a bow, a very elegant bow. I'm just kidding. Our guys are living in the in the mud and <laughs> trying to figure out how to survive in the next couple of weeks in this jungle. Uh, so what I've done in the episode one, uh, we have prepared some fields, so we will be able to uh, gather some food. Uh, not in the next probably two, three days, three days maybe two. I have no idea. We are now approaching the seventy percent of growth in the rice plantation, while for the cotton and the ear root, actually, I don't care because I don't need them to eat. What is important at the moment? We have to prepare the laboratory, so the, our lab will uh, give us the possibility to start researching and then also to skin um, our all the animals we are going to kill. Okay, now we have a campfire, which we will use to cook the panthers, the dogs, the cats, everything what we what we hunt also the dog no maybe the dog maybe maybe not the dog i am not sure anyways since it looks like you'll be here for a while zebo thinks that we should give a fa your faction a name okay and the faction will be the jungle aristocracy yeah and uh, this village this village will be the ukronia ukronia because you know ukronia gaming haha <laughs> so let's give a uh, a uh, warm welcome to Kronia, the city of the jungle aristocracy. And oh, big space! Cr wow, that's quite quite good. We have now a big chunk of spaceship here. Lang. That's not bad at all. That's kind of good because it will provide us with more uh, steel. I think also maybe with components. Maybe. Oh no, Jesus! Okay, we have an unusual heat wave, uh, and that's that's kind of okay. That's kind of good because the game is suggesting to build a passive cooler or a cooler as well. Nice. Close. Um, nice because we can actually do it. It's a very good suggestion. Where is it in temperature? Passive cooler. We will um, place one passive cooler here in our bedroom slash living room and as soon as we have enough food we will also build the butcher table but I'm afraid that uh, those panthers will spoil before being butchered actually I wanted to do that because I need also their skin that their their leather the panther leather for um, the clothes I wanted to have some cowboy hats in panther leather. Isn't it badass, guys? Isn't it? <laughs> I think I will do that. I think I will do that just for the fun, just for the lulz. Okay, wooden butcher, blah, 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 butcher creature, do it forever. And I think I have already given the cooking order to Zebo, which is now sleeping like a little baby. And he doesn't give a crap about the, <laughs> the spoiling meat, but fine, we will do it tomorrow. We we'll do it tomorrow. And then we have to uh, start researching so that we will have soon batteries. And we need batteries if we want to have a stable source of electricity. Till then, we will just build a couple of generators here inside. Food fire generators are fine. And uh, yeah, I will build a generator indoor. I hope it's not a stupid idea. It might be a stupid idea, but actually I, I don't recall if this is an issue or not. <laughs> I will discover it very soon, I guess. Perfect. 
I think the generator might, might produce a lot of heat. So, now, with our campfire, we have to cook simple meal plus four uh, forever. Because now we have uh, actually a lot of panther meat, which spoils in one day 0.8. No, we have already rice. Oh, shit. I mean, that's not bad uh, in a way, but I wanted to cook first uh, our meat supplies. Now that we mix rice and meat, okay, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, the good news is that we have food. So, how much is the temperature now? 54 degrees! Oh, here 30, here 48. Obviously, we must build a copy of a passive cooler here. Red Union, a group of tribes people from the Union of Kanga has arri have arrived. The group of people is Woodpecker. One guy with a... with, with like a... <laughs> with, a with a stick. <laughs> He's actually kind of good. He's an artist. He's, a, he's very good with animals. Zebo, come here. Come here. Let's bring the, the welcome kit for uh, Woodpecker. Let's see if the welcome kit is meeting his expectations. I mean... If I kill him, it's done, it's fine. If I don't kill him, I will try to capture him as a... Uh... Yep, great, well done. We need a, we need a prison, obviously. I mean, we have no prisons, uh, we can build one here inside. Assigning a slipper spot and giving high priority to this thing. So you cut and you build. How much time do we have? Seven hours. I think we will manage. I think we will manage to build the prison inside the laboratory. The, there is just a little issue here. Uh, there are 58 uh, Celsius degrees. 58. Well, it's a lot. We need wood, guys. You have to take more wood, you, you have to chop trees as up. Okay, now we have a prison, uh, four prisoner, Zebo. Capture this guy, Beryl, take some wood, ting ting, work on the passive cooler. Because we can only have 50 degrees here inside, or 58 or whatever. Okay, now Woodpecker will die in 4 hours. We have to take our doctor, which I forgot. Uh, might She might be ting ting, yes. Yeah, now we tend him. Perfect. Perfect, I don't know, he's going to die in three, four hours, five, I don't know. The passive cooling is now working, kind of. It's decreasing the temperature in our lab, but inside the prison we have still 51 degrees. In our barrack, they are 32, which is still bearable. We, we can sleep with 32. Okay, Woodpecker has died, has died for a heat stroke. It was too, too, too warm here inside. We tried, fine, we tried. It's, not, it's, it's a pity, but... Um, at least we have a grave already. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but it's we did what we could. Okay, how much uh, food do we have? Simple meals, four. Mm. Okay, now I'm, I'm not giving any order. I will just wait until my colonists have uh, completed their simple tasks and then I will just say research and we go to batteries. What is going on now? A panther is hunting Beryl. Oh, shit. Beryl has a gun, so he can try to shoot the panther. Okay. It seems that 
the panther managed to I mean Beryl managed to escape from the panther but I don't understand okay cool I think that now we we can turn this into an hospital we just have to uninstall this bed and, and install it here and probably we should also deconstruct uh, the walls because we don't need them let's give a priority to this because we need to to build up um, an emergency hospital for burial which has a lot of scratches i guess yeah he might die in 21 hours. I think that Ting Ting should uh, first uh, um, heal Beryl so that we avoid any kind of infection and then we will create the infirmary, let's say. Medical. Good. It seems that we have another panther to, to work now. It's really dangerous. Uh, we have a lot of predators around and uh, playing in Iron Man with this, it's kind of... Hmm. Floors, concrete. I forgot two places. Uh, three, actually. Fine, how are you doing, man? Okay, the heat stroke is still bad because, uh, yeah, we have... The Initial to be honest. Okay, it's alright. And we have 24 simple meals. That's great. I think we can build a kitchen. I think we, we, we should build a kitchen. A very big one. Uh, I think we might need more than one uh, refrigerator. But let's see. So we enter this time from, from the side. We will have a part where we can cook and a part where we have to store our food. So far everything will be wooden, then in the future we will see. We might change uh, uh, the floor, but so far everything must be wooden. Okay, temperature, cooler number one. So the cool, uh, the warm air should go out from the back of the kitchen. So two, uh, two coolers be built here and at the moment we will uh, power them up with uh, the generator here so it's burning wood 24 hours a day 24 7 and that's very inefficient so we will need then to create a, a battery room later on as soon as we have enough technology good barrel is uh, fully recovered no infection thanks god Another thing I want is the electric tailor, which can go here. Perfect. We don't have any crafter at the moment, but uh, I hope that sooner or later someone will join us. Hopefully. Panther meat has rotted away in storage. Bad, 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 but uh, we have a good news. We have another panther, so we can keep uh, cooking our rice. We are just doing some kind of panther paella uh, with our rice, with our panther meat. Our guys are really tough. They eat panther paella, isn't it? Okay, Beryl is working on uh, the research of batteries, which is fantastic. Uh, then maybe we could uh, switch off the generator. Keep it. We, I could keep it like uh, an emergency generator, but I will start building up more um, eolic uh, f uh, wind farms. So I think it's gonna be better. Yeah, Ting Ting and Zebo now are lovers. 
sweet. They could sleep together. Definitely, they could. Let's give an order here. Let's uh, clean all this area because we don't need uh, actually plants. We will build a lot here. And probably we should think about uh, walls. Even if they're wooden, I don't care. We need to create a, a sort of um, perimeter in order to keep the wildlife outside. And then we will have less problems for sure. That's why we need to uh, pile up a lot of wood and I think that's a very good idea. At the moment we are just wasting a lot of energy though, right? Yeah, it seems so. But with only three colonists, there is no way we will be sp we will speed up the process. We have a lot of stuff to do. The good news is that we have uh, enough food for the next whatever. A lot of time. Good morning. Verdi's taking his breakfast. What did he eat? Panther meat, cat meat and rice. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I want to puke. Okay, after this very, very, <laughs> let's say, energetic breakfast, Birdie is going to research. Um, Zebu is vomiting on the breakfast, and now he's taking some. Yeah, it's always cat meat, panther meat, and rice. Okay. The guys should really clean up this this uh, mess and build up the kitchen and uh, free uh, the. Frozen, uh, freezing cell. Or frozen cell. How do you say that? How do you spell it? I hope that my accent is not so bad. And, and that you tolerate my grammar mistakes. I know I do a lot of them. But what can I say? I'm a gamer. I'm not an English teacher. Can you hear this music? Isn't it so sweet and relaxing and chill out? There's also the, ra the rain and it's so ASMR, so lo-fi. Pity that we're playing in on Iron Mode in a fucking jungle full of panthers that are trying to kill us. There is a little bit of... <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel comfortable in all of this. Anyhow. Yeah, you see, the growing zone now is not getting uh, uh, planted once again. We should uh, we should really uh, plant every seed now because okay, here is always growing uh, time, so that's not a big deal. But soon we will have also the cotton and the hill roots. I think I can just get rid of this fire. We deconstruct uh, the campfire here. We don't have to uh, cook anything else. So far, when we be cook, we will do it using electricity, using the kitchen. So we need some time. I check the shifts in the meantime. I think I would, uh, I should not change anything. I don't know what you think, guys. How would how would you expand this colony? Oh Jesus, we have a lot of elephants. Which is great, because if in the future we have a very good, uh, um, we have a colony which is very good in taming, uh, that might be great. We have still a panther. Uh, I will give uh, the task hunt to my hunter Zebo. Which is actually stealing the turkey that the panther has killed. Now we have a turkey, good. Injured Panther Revenge. Okay. This cat is gonna die in four hours, so it's better if we keep shooting. Yeah, run away please because it's not going to work otherwise. Cool. Rescue. Um hunt. Don't, don't, you don't have to rescue anything. Okay, perfect. Let me see if I have other predators. Two cobras. Shit. 
One is here. They're kind of far, but still. And where's the second cobra? Jesus, the snakes. Now I, I really need to I really need to chop a lot of wood and build a palisade. I need to keep them out of here. This is going to be my first um, defensive measure. I think I will do something like let me I, I will use now the the plan. I would take uh, I would do something like this for the palisade. Here we block the, the the steel mine, let's say. We keep the little lake inside and we close it here. That's my idea. This should be the perimeter and then in, uh, I can create an opening here with some traps, so in case uh, um, if there is any kind of assault or manhunt impact from animals, uh, we might um, have the traps on our side. And usually this is very useful. So I think this is my next uh, challenge after the kitchen, because uh, don't forget, we need to freeze uh, our food or it will uh, just spoil. This is our food is our priority, no, no matter what. Maybe I should give uh, um, the plant cut a little bit more priority for everybody. And as soon as Beryl has researched the batteries, uh, he should also go and cut. There's nothing else to do. Perfect. Now Ting Ting and Zebo are doing that. And uh, yes, that works. As you see, Ting Ting now is building the freezer. Simple meat is rotting away. Okay, fine. What is this factions? Okay, this is showing the relation with all the factions, but that's all right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will stop for now. We'll see each other in the next episode. If you have any question or any suggestion, please leave a comment down below. In particular, how would you expand this colony uh, now? I think the priority one should be the kitchen and the freezer. The priority two should be uh, the external fence, the wooden one so far. Then we will try to uh, gather some stone and um, power it up. And then as soon as we have a perimeter, uh, we need to create some traps. Uh, um, so that if anyone gets in it would be killed by uh, he or she or it would be killed by the traps if you have any other idea please feel free to comment down below and don't forget to leave a thumbs up thank you for watching and see you next time